Start whenever you're ready. Alright, when you're adding and subtracting negative numbers, um, it can sometimes be confusing because uh, it doesn't look the same as just a simple subtraction when you're looking at the problem. Um, if you're taking a negative 3 plus 4, this is the same as saying 4 minus 3. Because addition is commutative. So what you're essentially doing is you're taking a plus 4 plus this negative 3. Plus negative will give you this negative 4 minus 3 up here. So obviously that's going to equal 1. If we're taking a negative number minus a negative number, the two minuses are always going to make a plus because a negative times a negative is a negative. So this will equal negative 5 plus 2. And if we switch the 2 and the 5, uh, another way of looking at it is saying 2 minus 5, which is going to give you negative 3. The way that you know that it's going to be negative is because the, the bigger number is the one that is negative. If we had a negative 2 plus 5, we could write that as 5 minus 2 and get a positive 3. Um, here we just switch this negative sign and wind up with a negative answer. Uh, looking at it on the number line, if I start at 2, and subtract 5, I'm going to subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'll wind up at negative 3 right here. I'm going to change it.